31, I had a question coming out of section 3.2, number 45. And here we were asked to graph this piecewise function. So what I want to do is I want to graph each of these pieces individually. So let's think about the absolute value of x. That's one of those toolkit functions that just based on the equation, we should know the general shape of the graph. And it's a v. All right. And then if I want to graph the line y equals 1, that's a horizontal line at 1. All right. It goes like this. Oops. There we go. And then let's think about which pieces we want. It looks like the breaking point is two. So let me go out to two here on the x-axis on both of these. All right, this is gonna be the ordered pair two, one. This would be the ordered pair two, two. And let's see what we want. It says for the absolute value, we want x less than two. If I want x less than two, that means I want this piece of that graph. And if we look here, this says we want x greater than or equal to two. So if I want x greater than or equal to 2, I want this piece of the graph. So basically, let me change highlighter colors here. I'm going to take this part of the graph here and combo it with this part of the graph here. Now, things to take note. Let me use my eraser for a moment. Something I want to note, note that there's just a less than here versus the greater than or equal to here. So that means I'm going to have a closed dot on this piece of the graph, and I'm going to have an open dot on this piece of the graph. So you can see me piecing these together, right? Here's the ordered pair 2, 2 with the open dot. Here's the ordered pair 2, 1 with the closed dot. And that's my piecewise function. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.